What's up, everybody? Uh, Mom Vernon Kid here, coming to you with the uh, opinion spot. Uh, hope everybody's well on their end. Uh, it's another fantasy fight. The countdown still is going on. Just a few more fights for section two, and we move on to section three. Uh, this fight puts perhaps, perhaps the two greatest sidekicks ever together uh, in a battle, but not as their sidekick alter egos but as their alter egos now and that is Dick Grayson Batman versus Bucky Barnes Captain America now like I said these are two former sidekicks they have taken over the roles of their respective uh alter egos Dick being Batman in the absence of Bruce for the while until he returned he's returned now and Bucky as the cap of now so starting off with Dick Grayson we all know Dick Grayson probably one of the greatest sidekicks ever he was the first Robin left Robin went on to become Nightwing had a good run with Nightwing then when uh, Bruce uh, went away uh, Battle for the Cowl came around. Basically, Dick uh, became the new Batman. And personally, I liked him as Batman. I thought he did a great job. Even though Bruce would never wanted him to be Batman, Dick made it his own. He And he wasn't trying to be like Bruce too much in terms of he, he, he occupied out of a different Batcave, didn't drive Bruce's Batmobile, he did everything a little different out of respect to Bruce, but he was still, he still defended Gotham, and that's, 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 that's something to say, because you, you figure that they would do it their way, or, but he also had a lot of respect for what Bruce delivered to Gotham, and it, it's always been funny to see, like, okay, you know, you see some of the heroes, sidekicks become this, and I thought this was a very good promotion for Dick, and kind of if it meant it was this was meant for Dick in some way. If if Tim was a little older, then I would say Tim should have been the next Batman. But with all due respect to Tim, this belonged to Dick, uh, so he runs around as Batman with Damian Wayne as the Robin, not Tim. Uh, Dick is a great detective in his own right. He's great. He learned from the best. He learned from Bruce. Bruce pretty much taught him a lot. And I, I wouldn't say everything, you know, because usually masters don't teach their students almost all everything they know. Uh, but Dick progressed over the years as being Nightwing. I mean, he defended his own town as Nightwing, Bloodhaven. For everybody who remembers Bloodhaven until it was destroyed. Uh, Dick has become Batman. He's and he's made it his own. He's running. He's had run-ins with many of the classic Batman villains over the time. So it's, it's not like he's just going against new villains. Uh, Dick is. He has done a lot for Gotham, not just his his alter egos as Robin or Nightwing, but as Bruce, as as Batman. Excuse me. Uh, he's done a great job. Um, but now that Bruce is back, you know, I still don't think he should go back to be a Nightwing. You know, he is going to be part of Batman Inc. Meaning that there are going to be other Batman running around besides Bruce. And I think that's cool because in my opinion, I've said it before, this is a this is a demotion. That would be a demotion to have Dick return back to his Nightwing alter ego instead of staying another Batman. He's done a great job. He's been Batman for a while now. He's he's Batman on he's leading the outsiders, he's leading and he's also Batman on the Justice League. Um fighting skills we should all know. Like I said, he's been taught by Bruce. So, and that's why I'm not going to sugarcoat too much for Dick. So moving on to his combatant. Uh, 
we move on. Bucky Barnes, or James Bucky Barnes, uh, was the sidekick of Captain America, Steve Rogers, during the war. Uh, fate was against him. Uh, we thought Bucky had died. Unfortunately, his body was discovered by the Soviets or Russians. Uh, they basically uh, reprogrammed him, uh, gave him a cybernetic arm because his, his one of his arms was totally destroyed, wiped his memory, and he became the Winter Soldier. And for the for the past 50 years, that's what he would do. They would bring him out for a mission. I believe every 10 years or so. I could be wrong. Just correct me if I'm wrong, guys. And uh, put him back into basically uh, suspended animation. Bring him back out again. And his memory is all distorted. He didn't know really much. And then finally he broke free of it. And later on, once Steve was gone, Bucky, there were many people trying to fill the role as Steve Rogers, Captain America. And once again, it came down to, you know, Who's better at suiting to be capped than, you know, uh, than the sidekick? Uh, and Bucky made it his own as well. He didn't use, he didn't use uh, Steve's costume. He made his own, and I think his costume suits him better than to just represent using Steve's old costume. Uh, he had a little trouble throwing the shield, but he got better at it. He got very good, better at it. His fighting skills has been great over the years you know he's he, he's a soldier so he, he's a soldier through and through um and he's he's made it his own as being the captain america of this universe of uh, now uh when steve returned and during siege you know steve went out with a bang one last time as captain america and then willingly gave the shield back to bucky so showing that Steve was very willing to give up the title of Captain America because he knew he was the Captain America of old. Bucky now is this Captain America. And there were times Bucky was questioning himself, you know, am I ready to be this Captain America? Am I ready to be Cap? Am I Captain America? And many people saying, you are Captain America no matter what. Uh, his tactical skills are great, just like Dick's. Fighting skill is great as Dick. Uh, he has become, these two characters have become their respective alter egos. No question about it. Do I like Bucky as Captain America? Yes, I do. Uh, I know there were a lot of people saying, oh, these two should just stay what they were. You know, uh, Bucky should have just stayed Winter Soldier, but been a good guy. No. You know, Dick should have just stayed Nightwing. There shouldn't have been no Batman. Another new Batman. No. Gotham needed Batman, so Dick took up the call. The world, the Marvel Universe needed up Captain America, and Bucky took up the call. So, putting these two characters together would be interesting because they, they're former sidekicks, but now they're... But their past predecessors have fought before and they have gone toe to toe before and they've been evenly matched in, in whatever story you're reading if you read the JLA Avengers then yeah you'll see it but if you read the the DC Marvel versus DC then you're not you're not going to see it that way but i think my friend VF Visfedora made it this would be bloody actually this would be a very bloody battle uh but in the end, I don't see these guys killing each other. I think, once again, as always, when heroes fight, it's always a misunderstanding or they're fighting because of they, they got a common threat or so. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you put these two characters together. Dick Grayson was trained by the best, one of the best in the DC Universe. Bucky <clears throat> followed alongside one of the best in the Marvel Universe. And you're going to get a good, good, decent fight. Um, will I say Bucky would have a little bit of an advantage because of his cybernetic arm? Maybe. But D Dick has handled people like this. So, 
but I would see a lot of the tactical skills of both coming into fruition. Uh, so I'm going to call it, I'm not going to call it anything. I'll call it a draw for me, but uh, I, guys, I want to hear what you guys think about this fight. You know, who would win? You know, Dick Grayson, Batman, or uh, Bucky Barnes, Captain America? Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys on this one. I brought another Marvel vs. DC fight out, and uh, the countdown continues, guys. Uh, stay tuned, as always. You know, this week kicks off Opinion Spot Week. So who wins? Dick? Or Bucky? And you guys take care.